All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Wednesday, February 28th. It's set by Harpo. I don't remember seeing that name before. Um, and I still haven't cottoned on what is the schedule for setters, or schedule. Um, you know, did they do one a week, one every two weeks? Uh, Maybe some appear more often than others. Anyway, let's get started. Service, perhaps, not available after broadcast decried NHS. It's a total of 12 letters. I certainly think broadcast might mean to anagram decried NHS, but that's only uh, 10. So we need two more letters. Um, so maybe we put NA for not available at the end of a of an anagram of decried NHS service, perhaps. I was first thinking of a military service, Royal Marines or something, but now if it ends in NA, could it be something China, because we do have a C and an H and an I, so a, a dinner service of something China. Uh, let's use the anagram helper, so NA decried NHS, Dresden, China, ah yes. I have heard of it. All right, that's a good start. Now, an EU administrative center hanged a criminal, three, four. Hanged a criminal. Well, maybe it's a criminal. Could actually maybe be the name of one, Don, Dan. Or is it an EU? Ad oh, the EU administrative. <laughs> no, it's an anagram of A or hanged A that is criminal or anagrammed, and it's uh, Den Hag. Now, I would have struggled to spell it if I didn't know. I think. There's, uh, we also call say The Hague, H-A-G-U-E, but I think the, maybe the Dutch is Den Haag. Uh, I won't bother checking up, but we'll find out if any of the crossers are wrong. All right, forms glossy surface on handle, coated with odd bits of silver backing. Well, the odd bits of silver are S, L, E, and their backing are going backwards. Um, so could it end in E, L, S? Oh, enamels is when you put a glossy surface, or one way of doing it. Um, on handle, uh, coated with, oh, so actually the ELS from silver, that's the E, that's the L, that's the S, and then name, your handle is your name, which is coating are being coated by the bits of silver. That's tricky, very uh, complicated. Master cutting extravagantly encased gold inlay on steel. Well, the encased, I think, is going to be like the coated in the previous uh, but I'm not sure if this is going to be a word for master. 
Master, of course, could be a school teacher. Domineer, master. Gold, A U R O R. Could it mean steel? No, I think I'm going to need some more for that. Spies, chest, buried by poles. I wonder if it could be. Uh, spies is the definition. And a word for chest that is buried by or surrounded by north and south, the two poles. But what is a chest? I'm wondering if it could be ark, as in the ark of the covenant. Is that a chest? And then narks? Well, narks, no, is more uh, somebody who, are like a rat uh, or a grass, spies, noses, uh, no, not getting it, retreat from all, but frightful temperature, ooh, retreat, could be um, retreat as in, you know, running away, or retreat as in a hideaway, or a haven from all but frightful temperature, hellish, no. So after a good start, I'm... Uh, I've run into a wall. Poorer girl turned up in elevated check. Wow. Um, I mean, poorer girl just sounds weird, but maybe that is, maybe it's some... Um, no, but why would it be poorer? Poor girl could be referring to someone from a book. Um, or some other rhyme or something, but poorer girl turned up. So something reversed, maybe a girl's name. Why poorer? And then elevated could also mean reversed. Elevated check. No, not getting that. All right, I'm going to go back to the uh, crosses since we have a few crossers here. C, National Guard, provide weapons to far-reaching power. Ah, well, having the N there was helpful because I thought, oh, what if National Guard is simply NG? And then what word... Could this first one I thought of long and low can mean see or look. Um, and then weapons could be, oh, provide weapons is arm. And so the long arm as in the long arm of the law. Lamb say understood encounter as stated. I think it might mean as stated, maybe a legal phrase or something in a contract as stated. Lamb say could be, um, could be meat. Oh, and I, so either lamb as an example is of meat, or is it a homophone? Then understood encounter. That seems very convoluted. All right, in darts regularly inspired by drinks, we raise game. Wow. 
regularly inspired by drinks, we raise game. Well, regularly can mean taking regular letters. Inspired by can mean put in one word, put inside another. We raise game. Oh, could it be people who breed game? I am wondering though if the regularly inspired by drinks could be ale or ales. And then maybe in darts regularly. If that's could be a t. Or it could be d r s. Could it be dralis? I don't think so. We raise game. No, uh, that is, so this uh, Harpo character seems to be quite tricky. Died in helping in Canadian sea hazard. Died in helping in Canadian so I presume it's just going to be maybe sea hazard. Oh, I don't know why I still have that S there. Um, oh, yeah, because I thought it might be the poles. Uh, let me pause, sip my coffee and think about that. No, I'm just wondering about something ice, pack ice or... Um, no, not getting it. Pollard, closely packed trees to expose borders. I'm only thinking of uh, the actress Sue Pollard, who is on, um, oh, what was that comedy set in a, uh, a holiday camp? Uh, but is Pollard also a, a fish or something? Closely packed trees to expose borders. Oh, well, edges would be borders. Pollard closely packed. Hmm. I'm not seeing how that would be right. I'll leave it in for now, we'll come back to it. Sun skipping exclusive exam concerning public choices. Ooh, so I wonder, well, sun is S, but I wonder if maybe a word for exclusive, you take the S out of it. And then a word for exam, and it means concerning public choices. Something like democratic or um, referendum. Oh, concerning, of course, could also be re. Uh, exam test comes to mind. No, don't see it. U.S. commando having left instead of second engineers in recognition of fighting. Oh, so I wonder if it's a, a medal that's given in recognition of fighting, something star. But then this, um, I know we're supposed to read it as second engineers, but I think it's a word for a US commando 
that has L for left instead of its whatever its normal second letter is. And then our, our engineers can be RE in recognition of fighting. Um, so then it might end RE. No, not saying it. Uh, second prominent feature of Stalin may be in store. Hmm. Well, second could be S. Prominent feature could be a uh, nose. But of Stalin, well, his mustache would be a prominent feature. Um, Stalin may be in store, no. Mostly remain with Chatty Bird, showing capacity for endurance. Well, stamina would be capacity for endurance. Can I make this work? With chatty bird, what is a chatty? Oh, minor bird, but I thought that's M Y N A H. Ah, I think that's most of stay would be mostly remain. But um, yeah, let me look up the spelling of minor bird. I did find one website that said also M-I-N-A, but others just said M-Y-N-A with an optional H at the end. But it does seem right. Maybe the chatty is indicating it's a, a homophone. But it's, you know, it's a homophone, but also it is a chatty bird. Hmm. We'll leave it in. Uh, blunt bishop leaves with direct old abbot. I think it might mean, well, maybe it is an old abbot in uh, British history, but I'm thinking maybe it means blunt. Bishop leaves with direct, old, no, not getting that. Put favorable slant on two levels about unknown philosopher. Oh, so I think unknown is going to be X, Y, or Z, but two levels? But favorable slant on about unknown and then is it going to be the name of a philosopher or a, a verb meaning to put a favorable slant but who would a short philosopher be if it's wordplay yeah not getting that uh, frolics in punts reported. Well, this certainly seems like a homophone. Um, the definition is frolics, but it sounds like a word for punts. Now, is that punts as in uh, kicking a ball or a, um, a rowboat? Are uh, the old Irish pound? I don't, I don't think it's that. Frolics. No, I need some, some help on that. Indiana and North Carolina constrained by deepened new autonomy. Well, independence comes to mind. 
Yes, because I think it's going to be IN for Indiana and NC for North Carolina. And then I think an anagram of deepened. Well, let's put it in and make sure it all fits. Yeah. So I think it's Indiana, so IN, and then it's NC is constrained by an anagram of deepened. All right. Um, well, finishing letters are not as helpful as starters, but let's try 22. We have both. Saw. Ah, immediately when I see saw, I, I'm thinking of a proverb or um, an adage. Advantage after removing lead weight ultimately. Uh, maybe it's not, but um, because, well, ultimately would suggest the last letters. Is it just of weight or even, I don't think it's going to be all of these. Saw advantage. Oh, well, adage, of course, is contained in advantage. And you have to remove, ah, you have to remove van, which is lead, not lead. Um, in the van of a parade is in the lead of it. And then it is weight, ultimately, we remove. And so it is adage. All right, plant workers going north, stuck in possible suitable route. Of course, plant workers might be uh, punning that it's people who work with plants going north. Uh, so maybe we reverse that. Stuck in possible, maybe. And then a suitable route is the... No, don't get it. Now, the same hospital admits musician. Um, the same, of course, can be ditto or do. And then hospital admits. And so is it going to be a musician? Donovan Hospital. Hmm. All right. Yeah, maybe it's going to be a word that means the same. And it's going to be some some hospital that's going to have a musician inside it. Hmm. Not sure. Foul goalkeeper. More or less. Oh, so I think this might be an ad lit or, or maybe just a punning definition. Foul goalkeeper. Goalkeeper uh, GK. No, don't see it. Excuse no one. Bar should be raised. Oof. Bar should be raised. Or maybe it's um, excuse. Which could be reason. Oh, maybe it's a word for excuse. That has an eye, and we remove that bar. No. <laughs> all right, I don't. I'm going all over the place today. My apologies. 
Uh, let's see this one now that we have the M as well as the D. Master. Oh, I did think Dalmanir. Um, but it might be some kind of form of Dom. Master Dominate. It's too short. Dom, 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 dom. Master. No, just not seeing it. Still don't know my spies. No, uh, retreat. No. All right, how about Stuns, Fat, South African, Mountain, Idiot, Eating, Tons. Oh, what is, is this going to be? I mean, eating tons seems like wordplay. So then stuns could be the definition. Uh, ooh, I just thought of a long word. If you say you're stunned, you're flabbergasted. Which, of course, flab is going to be fat. So I have a good feeling of this flabbergasted oops flabbergasted sorry yes flabbergasted all right how do we uh, work this out flab south african mountain i wonder if that's berg in uh, afrikaans um our Dutch, and then idiot eating tons. Um, ASTS is left if Berg is right. Where is, oh, ass, of course, is idiot, and then that eats tea for tons. Oh, why didn't I see that? I am an ass. Oh, what an ass I am. Um, in darts, regularly inspired by drinks, we raise game. Hmm. We raise, so is it another game? <sighs> no, I'm not seeing it. Uh, I'll go on. Oh, well, yeah, let's look at 16 now. US commander could be GI, of course, but having left instead of second, Oh no, the GI isn't a commando in recognition of fighting. Um, what is that in recognition of fighting? No. No, not seeing it. Uh, 24 then. Oh, yes. So um, I don't know why it just came to me having the initial S. I really feel we as humans, that that initial letter makes such a difference. I wonder if any psychiatrists, psychologists, psychiatrists have done uh, studies on that. But Spinoza... So to put favorable slant on is to spin. And then two levels about unknown. Oh, the O levels and the A levels. Uh, so of course not having grown up in Britain. Uh, I just know of the O levels and A levels. Um, 
But then the unknown is Zed and Spinoza is the philosopher. Does that help? This excuse or excuse no one bar should be raised. No, but I'm thinking it ends in I O N, I A N, I G N, maybe. And then our foul goalkeeper, more or less. Might mean, mean foul. No, not seeing it. All right, let's go back. We did the uh, stuns. How about book, chalet, otherwise, hotel, given turbulent times, 12 letters again. I wonder if it could be an anagram of book, chalet, but then that's only 10. And then, well, hotel would give us an H. And then given, hmm, I don't know what given might be. Given turbulent times. Oh, maybe it's a book. And so it's an anagram of chalet. Yes, chalet otherwise. H for hotel and then times anagrammed. Um... So we would have the, which might be a reasonable um, title of a book. So let's try the anagram helper Oops. times the Maybe it's not the I do wonder if it might be A T C H or I T C H. Mitch, Lich, Match. Oh, oh, well, oh, I thought for a moment the time machine, but of course it's not that. The, uh, no, oh, ooh, the, hmm. No, I'm just not getting that. I think it must not be the... Um, so it's a book. Uh, no, didn't see the anagram, unfortunately. Cut off in middle of Fleet Street, having called journalist. Uh, so I do wonder if it's going to mean cut off, which could be cut off as in cut off from the mainland, secluded, detached. Yeah, it could literally be sawn off. Um, or cut off as in removed from somebody, cut off their pension. In middle of Fleet Street. Oh, maybe in middle of... Um, fleet could be L-E-E -E, and then street could be S-T I think the ad at the end would be journalist having called having called hmm don't see it 
And then we're back to the ones we looked at before. Yeah, uh, very tricky today. Yeah, let me pause, finish my coffee, and think about the ones we've looked at. Okay, so I went back to uh, four down, um, and I did check an arc can be a chest, and then narcs, again it says informers, but I'm wondering if that's right. Let's use the check this button. It is correct. Now, oh, let's see what that helps with. Lamb say... Oh, um, well, yeah, so I think it is red meat. So it's homophones, as stated, for understood is as, you know, you read something, you understood it, and then encounter is meat. So red meat, yes, that makes sense. Now, died in helping... Oh, I never thought about the helping part. That could be assisting. Um, but I wonder also could it be a helping as in a portion of food, a hel keeping helping. Um, which could be seconds, um, a died, I think then would be a D that's put inside a word for helping, <laughs> but I'm not sure what to do with the Canadian. But I do, died in, or could it be died? Um, A euphemism or another phrase for died in helping in Canadian <laughs> sea hazard surf something no not seeing it uh, but now we have this D retreat I did think hide away but that's eight Retreat from all but frightful temperature. Well, not hide away, but how about I hide out? That would be a retreat. But what is, um, well, maybe a retreat from all, but where does the frightful temperature, well, I suppose temperature could be T, Ah, it's hideous. I don't think I've ever seen this phrasing before from all but, all but frightful. So we've seen before, like, uh, well, I don't know, it's just some other wordplay indicators that say a word is not finished or incomplete, but all but. Yes, so I think it is a hideout. Well, that's tricky. Now... This um, sea hazard or died. No, not seeing it. And now our poor girl turned up in elevated. Well, maybe it means poorer. And then girl turned up in elevated. Check. So yeah, maybe it's poorer. A girl's name is reversed in a word for check that's reversed, but I think if it is poorer, it would have to end in ER. So then check would be probably RE and then ending in N. Oh, to check could be to rain. N-I-E, and then the girl could start with E, 
or end with this E. But I can't say poorer. Um, poorer. Oh my God, why can I not see that? Let me pause and think about it. Oh, I have the I in the uh, wrong place. So rain is here. And then the girl is D. I know a D. Um, so she is turned up. Inside check a rain turned up. Oh my goodness. And that means poor, needier. Oh my goodness. I'm going to need to lie down after all of this. Now does that... Oh, so I think it might be something ice. What is a um, slow ice, um, stop ice, what, but where does the Canadian come in, Canadian sea hazard, died, well I did think there might be a D in it, in helping, oh a helping could be a slice slot ice I don't think so um, oh but hold on uh, so if it's slice then we need two letters for died are there some letters you put after somebody's name when they've died I, I really want to say slow ice, but I don't know why. Let me check it. No. Well, let's try slot ice. No. Slow ice. No. Okay, I'm going to reveal it. Slob ice. I have never heard of that. And OB. Um, how does that mean? Died. I'm going to have to re rely on 15 squared to explain that. All right. Uh, ooh, very tricky. Oh, so now 10 does look like the. Let me pause and try and do the anagram on paper. Oh boy, that was a uh, tough one to anagram. But finally found the alchemist. What's the name of the guy? Paolo... Something Coelho, Toto Coelho. No, that's different. Anyway, the alchemist. Wow. Does that have any... Is there any thematic link with Dresden, China? Flabbergast? I don't think so. Or independence. I think they're all just 12 letters. All right. Now, surely that's going to help. Yeah, so concerning public choices, then does seem to be the definition sun skipping exclusive oh an exam could be an oral and then so word meaning exclusive and you drop the s um oh select of course is exclusive and you get electoral wow that was another tough one Cut off in middle of Fleet Street, having called journalist, uh, eliminated is too long, cut off, uh, what could that be? No, not seeing it. Um, let me try this US commando, and if I can't get it, I will reveal it. Having left. Let me find another name for a US commando. No, I can only see a seal. Um, so let's uh, reveal this one. Green 
belch. Oh my goodness. Green belch. I presume it's as in karate, in recognition of fighting, you get a green belt. But actually, as we see, yeah, that may not be correct. So I think that's why they have the question mark. Oh, could it be green beret? And then instead of having, ah, instead of having RE, but there's two REs in Green Beret, so the second occurrence of RE you replace with an L. Oh, that is fiendish. Absolutely f I don't I think if I'd been doing these for years I still wouldn't get that one. Wow, 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 wow. I think yeah. I think the definition part too is pretty um Bit, a bit of a stretch or just not um, specific enough I think to give us a fighting chance so to speak all right well having uh, given up on green belt let's see if that helps us excuse or excuse no one bar should be raised Uh, something like elation. No one bar should be raised. Now I'm going to reveal that. Evasion. Oh, how is... Um, where's the definition there? Evasion. I don't think means excuse or excuse. Yeah, I mean, somebody can be evasive and give evasion and or hmm. no one bar. A uh, bar is save. OK, and that should be raised. Oh, no one is number one or literally n o one bar but i don't think evasion is excuse um yeah i i i really think that's a, a huge stretch all right foul oh i'm thinking of noisome whoops um a word i read but never used but let's see oh a goalkeeper can often be number one so it goes well with evasion i will give um who's eric harpo i will give him that uh but then more or less uh, is some okay that's fine uh now our master ooh cutting extravagantly encased gold inlay on steel yeah again i'm just thinking it's a dom thomas something now i'm going to reveal that one Oh, of course, Damascene Steel. Where is now Master Cutting? Oh, extravagantly encased means an anagram of encased. And I suppose gold inlay on steel, that's the Damascene part. So we have the extravagantly E N C A S E and then M A S Master and then maybe Master Cutting means just half of Master. No, or I think the cutting must mean goes inside. So is M A S a known 
abbreviation of master, I'm sure it must be. Oh boy. Yeah, I think maybe it's a another name for darts or things you throw. Um, we raise game. Regularly inspired by drinks. Yeah, I'm going to reveal this. Beaters. Oh, of course. So I did think it might be people who breed the game, but uh, hunters, when they go out shooting, um, they have people who beat the ground to get grouse, I think, to fly up. So let's see. In darts regularly inspired now i think darts regularly is a and t and they are inspired by beers or inside of beers okay that's fair just could not work that out now our cutoff is e something t i'm thinking e x T having called journalist entreated. No, oh. oh, let me put in entreated and see if that's right. I don't think so. No, well, maybe extracted it could be you no know, extra extricated. No, I'm going to go ahead and reveal it estranged oh it's a cut off in that sense uh so there is street i think cut off in the middle of fleet street uh having called is rang hmm Yeah, um, oh no, middle of fleet is the E. Ah, okay. I sh yeah, I should have worked that out. And then street is ST, and then rang ed. Wow. Tricky, tricky. Um, ah, the second prominent feature of Stalin ends in an H. Maybe in store. No, I'm not getting that, so let's reveal it. Oh, uh, actually, I am thinking of stash, because, I, again, I just thought of Stalin's mustache. So a store could be a stash. That is correct. All right, now our blunt bishop leaves with direct old abbot. Oh, I have a feeling it's going to be an old church person from history. Blunt. I'm not seeing a short word for blunt. All right, let's reveal it. Ald Helm. Yes, I've never heard. I've heard of Anselm. So I presume Aldhelm is another name of an old abbot. So where is Blunt? Oh, I think Blunt is bald. Uh, the bald truth or a bald lie. And the bishop leaves. And then to direct is to helm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is of quite obscure. I wonder how many people have heard of Aldhelm. All right, now frolics in punts reported. Um, punts, frolics. 
Oh, what is a word for frolics, gallivants? Um, no, it's just not coming to me. I'm going to reveal it. Gambles. Oh, and punts. I think I gave two possible meanings, but it's another one, of course, to gamble or to bet, to have a punt. Oh, my goodness. And then it's also quite an old-fashioned word, gambles, but should have got it. No, the same hospital admits musician. Oh, um, I think a sideman could be a musician. And so the same hospital admits... No, I don't um, understand. Let's check it. It is correct, but I do not understand why. So 15 squared will explain. And then plant. Oh, it could be a plant. Um, I'm thinking of anemone, which I can never say. Um, and then how would that be? Oh, plant workers are men, and they're going north in a suitable route. Well, the A1, I think, in Britain goes north, so that's why it's a suitable route. All right, I think I've put everything in. Let's check all. Everything still seems to be there. Oh, boy, this was a tough one. Let me go over to 15 squared. All right, today's blog is by Eileen. Interesting challenge as usual from Harpo. Uh, so M Harpo must be a regular. Uh, the word interesting, of course, is often uh, not always a compliment. If somebody serves you a meal and you say, mm, that's very interesting. <laughs> it's probably not delicious. All right, there are one or two unknown or less familiar words, but fairly clued and therefore gettable. I think Eileen is being very uh, generous here. The long anagrams were helpful. Theme. All right, the ones I had trouble with in the across were the slob. Oh, so OB is short for obeit. Uh, I don't think that's a typo. I think that must be the Latin or died in slice. Yeah, both of my dictionaries specify it as a Canadian, so it is a specifically Canadian thing, slob ice. All right. Uh, closely pollard. Oh, closely packed trees are hedges. Minus the initial letter means to be pollarded. I've never heard of that. I'm going to have to look that one up. Okay, and then 21. Um, stay. Oh, so just minor is a chatty bird. No one is blinking an eye at the alternative spelling. And it's not a homonym, a uh, homophone. Um, yeah, direct can be a verb. Of course it can. Um, all right, I think that's all the acrosses. On the downs, just, um, what did I think? Oh, three. Oh, M-A is a master. Okay, cutting. Oh, I, yeah, so that was my mistake. I forgot that the C was part, or the S was part of encased. So just the M-A, master of arts, I should have got that. And then 19, uh, the same is idem. Oh, and San is a hospital. Oh, that's a new one on me too, as an abbreviation. All right, I think I got everything else. Um, tough but fair. Never heard of Aldhelm, yes. Slob ice, new to me, seemed implausible. <laughs> Yes, um, tough, 
cruel, <laughs> cruel but fair. I think that's a good one. Fail to solve a couple. Yeah, good workout. The British are so polite. I love that about them. Um, anyway, yeah, I thought that was really, really tough for a Wednesday, but what do I know? Anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.